Bobby Altoff just got exposed again. Now, this time she got exposed during an interview with Kiki Palmer. See, here's the thing about not being genuine or authentic. It's almost impossible not to get exposed. I don't like truth. And her whole shtick is dry humor and that she's not funny, but we are going to answer the question. Is Bobby Altoff a Okay, I'm glad you guys like that little clip. Yes, so Bobby Altov, let me catch you up real quick. She was a mommy influencer over on Instagram. And I know quite a bit about Instagram and mommy influencers. I took a season off of YouTube to try Instagram out and I was fairly successful, I lost a lot of followers, made a lot of money. So it was kind of inverted in that way. But in general, I was able to observe said mommy influencers and the overwhelming majority of them are in LA. The high profile ones are in LA, which is exactly the situation that happened with Bobby Altoff. She was married to a millionaire and they were living in LA, which would later be their downfall is kind of what I think. You know, call me crazy, but I think interviewing a rapper in bed with drinks, which may or may not have been alcoholic, who even knows? I think that that might spell doom for your marriage, breaking up your family, your children, and so many other things. So if you like this content, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit the notification bell. So Bobby Altoff, the reason why she was a big, famous mommy influencer was because when she breastfed her children, and she's also had pretty good boundaries about not showing her children visibly on her platform, when she started off, she had one giant breast from breastfeeding. That was her whole shtick, was that she was lopsided and she was okay with it. Super into motherhood. Baby wore, I believe, both of them. Petite, beautiful. And somehow she got into podcasting, which is the natural progression of some mommy influencers. But what was so disheartening about the situation was that she... It seems like she chose her career over her family. Apparently, women cannot handle overnight success. What would I know about that? Hmm. Apparently, women can't handle overnight success, and a lot of the times will end up choosing a career over their husband and children. People are going to say that that's not what she did, and people are going to cave for her, and blah, 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 blah. I have my own opinions on Bobby Altoff. I loved her mommy content. Kind of makes me sad that a woman of a wealthy man who can be a stay-at-home mom ends up on the come-up, and when she gets a little bit of clout, the family can't thrive. Therefore, the man who made her platform happen is no longer in the picture, but that's kind of how the journey started. As a viewer, that's just annoying. And I don't know how she's going to recover from it. Probably fine. She is a woman and she's petite. But one of the things that tipped me off that something was a little bit off about Bobby Altoff in general is that she's socially awkward. I am too. No shade. However, she's also got a lot of fillers and she's had to change the fillers that she's gotten done in her face. And I see that a lot with women who are on social media frequently. They feel compelled, whether they are trying to be actually available to men or not, even if they're just trying to be entrepreneurs, they will get the lip injections. They will get the filler and the lashes and the nails and so many, I believe, beauty augmenting things. But I think it would be wise for more women who are on social media, if they are professionals, to try to avoid doing that because one procedure turns into five, turns into 10. I wrote something about that in my Substack article in the description down below why social media is bad for women for more reasons than just men. So let me catch you up a little bit on Bobby Altoff. We have a compilation here for you to check out. Like many comedians, Bobby Altoff started posting fun videos on TikTok to gain some exposure. She shared her very first one in April 2021 and has posted fairly consistently ever since. She's since managed to grow her following to an impressive 6 million and she's amassed well over 190 million likes. Since launching herself on the platform, Altaf has shared a variety of different content, including funny videos about her kids. One memorable clip of her holding her newborn baby from July 2022 features the caption, when the hospital just lets you leave with a living, breathing, brand new human you are responsible for. Altaf eventually shifted her focus on TikTok. Instead of sharing content that she created specifically for the app, she now generally posts clips of interviews from her podcast. And her whole shtick is dry humor in that she's not funny, but you know, it's a gynocentric social order. So any old mid out there 
or any beautiful woman out there who can get some filler, they become a very profitable social media personalities. So Bobby Altoff ends up posting this update on Instagram. This is from four weeks ago. I'm late. I know I'm the worst cultural commentator. I'm a wife and a mom and I'm busy, but we're getting to it. So four weeks ago, she writes, as most of you have heard, Corey and I have filed for divorce. As sad as I am right now, I am so thankful for the time I got to be his wife. Our girls are so lucky to have him as a father, and I am so lucky to be able to co-parent with such an incredible father and person. While our relationship did not work out as husband and wife, we will always be friends, and I will always love him. To which I just have to say... I don't know. What is her plan? (laughs) What's the plan to recover from this? Sure, she can get remarried, but this is still a family that's broken. And I'm sure she feels horrible and awful about this. And hopefully, Bobby, you never come across my video. If you do, though, I would just say, girl, quit your podcast. Beg that man for forgiveness. Ask him to let you back in the house. Because apparently he filed... Right? There's no shame in disappearing from the public eye and choosing your family. Uh, Some people just can't handle fame. I am 92nd percentile in neuroticism, and I can barely handle my little YouTube clout. (laughs) I've had many public freakouts, but you know. In any case, there is a response to this Instagram post where I believe Rich Cooper is actually correct. I know, shocking to hear He's on to something with this one. Rich Cooper's tweet says, women are so concerned with reputation management, they'll write any flamboyant-ish on social media to make themselves feel better for leaving a good man, husband, and father. But there's more rumors about Bobby. There's rumors that she's a plant. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the term plant, it basically means the industry, whatever the industry would be, props you up in one way, shape, or form. In this instance, it's going to be the entertainment industry because you're going to see more and more that Hollywood is going to try to infiltrate the influencer network because they are not doing too well. Shout out to Kathleen Kennedy, done killed Disney off. So many of them are just not doing well. So they're just going to try to prop up influencers. That's going to be how they make their money. So in any case, she's been accused of this because She either was or is currently managed by the same manager as Kiki Palmer. That came out in an interview. So we're going to look at this allegation real quick, which I think she is a plant. I'm sorry. I just what I think. Bobby Altoff just got exposed again. Now, this time she got exposed during an interview with Kiki Palmer. See, here's the thing about not being genuine or authentic. It's almost impossible not to get exposed. I mean, I don't truly like know. I, I feel like it means like, I don't know. I mean, like the industry is like helping you like i don't know where i know i applied and they were like yeah that was bobby's response to being asked about the industry plant rumor now she pretended like she doesn't understand what an industry plant is even though she's been getting called an industry plant for the latter part of six months so you mean to tell me that nobody in her team has notified her yo an industry plant means this But unfortunately for Bobby, like, we're not stupid, and the person she's being interviewed by isn't stupid as well. So Kiki Palmer played dumb for a while and led Bobby into her trap. What I think is an industry plan is... What I think industry plan is, it's like somebody that has been like, that is is tied to someone else in the industry Mm -hmm. and uses those connections to capitalize, and they, like, have zero talent. That makes more sense than (laughs) what I thought it was, so... I, I was like... They what just, did like, you think? Plan- it was? I don't know. Like some like the industry like Planted comes in you. and is like, hey, like we pick you. You're gonna be the next. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have any ties though, so I would love to have had ties. I feel like my life would have been a lot easier if I had ties. After hilariously pretending like she doesn't know. Yeah, you know, sometimes being married to a millionaire in LA can kind of make it seem like maybe you're talentless and being propped up. You know. Just sometimes. We're going to catch up on the Drake situation real quick because a lot of people think that was the beginning of the end, and I agree. So she starts off being a mommy influencer, then is able to start a podcast and interview celebrities. One of the celebrities that she ends up interviewing is Drake, and this takes place in a bed, and he has a drink in his hand. So you don't want to get married because you want to sleep around? Well, no, I don't want to get married because, like, I just don't want to disappoint someone, and, like, I'm not, like, Amish. What do you have against Amish people? I don't. It's just like I needed to, something to rebuttal the fact that you're saying that I'm basically like a thought. You are. Oh, you know what a thought is. I've heard that word. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How do you spell it? T-H-O-U-G-H-T. 
That's not how you spell it. That's how you like spell thought. Thought. Like thought. Not not like you a thought. Has anyone ever called Why'd you a you thought? S- no. You a thought, Bobby. Are you calling me that right now? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> you a little thotty, Bobby. What does that mean? <laughs> it's just fun saying it to you because, like, you don't really get offended by it because you don't even really know what it means. So I can just say it to you. And, like, I've never really been able to just look at someone and say that to their face. Thank you for that compliment, Aubrey. No problem. I mean, if she doesn't know what thought is, we can inform her real quick. Okay, anyway, moving on. The reason why that is problematic is they were in a bed. He is holding what appears to be an alcoholic beverage. Drake is known to be a man hoer. I don't know how to say that in a YouTube friendly way. He's a man ho. Can we say man ho? <laughs> Drake's been around the block. He knocked up a P star. That's controversial. Tried to deny paternity at first, which is fair. And also, you remember Cholula Poppy, where he had to put the hot sauce on the condom because some woman was trying to sperm jack him. It is wild. So as a married woman and a mother being in bed with a rapper who appears to be holding an alcoholic beverage, it just kind of ruins the sanctity of marriage in the public eye in one way. And then the other thing is I'm sure that could not have gone well for her marriage in her personal life. On top of that, he's calling her a W H O R E kind of, or rather, Yeah, that's never going to get old for me. (laughs) I'm keeping that on my soundboard. (laughs) But he's calling her these things in that bed. And I do think it was the beginning of the end because I followed Bobby Altoff as a mom for a while. And then she got famous and I didn't really like that. I felt like the mommy content was way better. But hey, I guess when in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in L.A., do what the L.A. women do. The real unfortunate thing about the situation is she wouldn't have a platform if it wasn't for her husband in the first place. And now that man is no longer in the picture. And what was it all for? I did talk to my husband, though. I said, you know what? I'm a little bit gullible. If I signed a contract to a company and they said for me to do an interview with a man in a bed, like, would I have to do something like that? Because she is signed to a talent agency. So I thought maybe it was something that she legally had to do. And then his response was, no, you don't have to do that stuff. You just don't do it. You can be in breach of contract. They can fire you. Maybe they'll be able to sue you, but they cannot make you do something, which I thought was really enlightening. Uh, I don't know if her husband pushed back at all, but I did ask my husband. I said, hey, if if I had to interview a rapper in a bed, would you would you have said something? He's like, yeah, I would definitely say something. Why? <laughs> kind of looked at me like I was wearing two hoods, which is nice. It's nice to reflect on that he would look out for me. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is Bobby Altoff an age to the O? Did she ruin her family? Did her husband ruin her family? Did he, by giving her access to the social medias and all that. Was he a contributing factor? Is he innocent in this? What do y'all think? I want to hear it. If you like this content, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Bye.